and welcome back to my channel. Monica Pai is here. Today is Sunday and um, we just finished working on some new content for you all. And now it's time to hit the gym. So I'm gonna hit the gym for ch some chest, tries and shoulders and I'm having my pre-workout. We've got egg whites, cream of rice, oatmeal, and oh some greek yogurt and one egg and strawberries see you guys at the gym bye all right since we've been up kind of early shooting going crazy i needed some cuban coffee to help me through this workout I'm gonna do a voiceover instead of speaking at the gym because I feel like it's easier for you guys to understand me since it's so loud and you can really hear me this way. So first I'm doing a mobility warm up, kind of getting my shoulders ready for um, my chest day. So basically I'm just doing the movements that I'll be doing during my workout with a lighter weight. Here I'm doing a dumbbell incline fly. Uh, since it is a volume day for me, I'm not trying to hit any PRs or go really heavy. So the weight is something kind of challenging, but um, not somewhere where I can only do six pounds. Um, in these type of sets, I usually do three rounds of the same weight and then drop it down, which is usually how you can tell that you are doing the right weight for you. You want to be struggling that on the last set you cannot physically do it with that weight that you originally started. This next exercise has become one of my favorites. It's a flat dumbbell alternating chest press. I really really like it because it fatigues my chest muscle really well. Again I'm doing four sets and usually around the last set I'll have to drop the weight. Here I'm doing a pec deck fly. This exercise is a little bit of a struggle for me. Um, I do have to decrease the weight with every set. Since I am trying to grow my shoulders, I do incorporate shoulders twice a week on my chest and tri day and then I have just a day for my shoulders. Here I am doing a sitting dumbbell press, shoulder press. I feel like I can go heavier even though I'm struggling, but if I had a spotter with me, I can probably push about 35 pounds. I was supposed to do cable side lateral raises. However, I struggle a little bit with those and I don't feel them as much in my shoulder caps as I do with this machine. So if you don't have this machine at your gym, no worries, you can um, do the cable side laterals. But um, I really, really enjoy this and feel it really well. So I'm just doing a one arm side lateral raise. I'm actually stronger doing dips than pull ups. So here I'm doing assisted dips. I can do about three or four To finish it off, I am doing 10 minutes of post cardio, steady state, not hit. Um, and also, you did not see this recording, but I did do a superset of one arm tricep extensions, supersetted with one arm cable tricep pull downs. So I hope you guys like this new way of me doing videos. Let me know in the comments below. It took about an hour and it says that we burned about 450 calories. Um, and I did the 10 minutes post cardio. Since I am in an off season, I'm trying to get off of um, cardio. So I'm down to 10 minutes about three times a week with two steady state fasted cardios a week. 
And now I'm just waiting for Kevin to pick me up since we were filming. We were in the same car and I was lazy to go home and get my car. So just decided to drop me off and now I'm just waiting for him to pick me up and I'm gonna take you guys with me for my post-nutrition um, meal. So I'll catch you guys at home. Hi guys, so I am back home now. Yes, I changed because um, I had to finish shooting some stuff and now I'm going to show you what it is that I eat um, post-workout. Alright, since I had since I had my oral surgery, I kind of need to blend everything. Um, so normally I would have some rice cakes, but since I can't chew on rice cakes right now, I'm going to substitute that for some oatmeal. Alright, so first off, protein. I like the PE Science Snickerdoodle Protein. That's the one that I like. I've tried other ones and this one just blends easy, tastes good, and it's pretty natural. We got one packet of this, Better Oats. You can get these at Target. Really, really good. This flavor is the maple and brown sugar. Next up, 70 grams of um, bananas. What I do is I freeze them so they don't go bad and it also makes the shake thicker. About one cup of spinach. It's an easy way to get your greens. You can't even notice it. And you're getting all the nutrients. And one cup unsweetened cashew milk. I personally like cashew milk more than almond milk, but if you want almond milk, go for it. Twenty grams. And there you have it. Cheers. It tastes really good. You can't taste the spinach. And it's delicious. All right, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I will probably be filming a post and workout nutrition. Why it is that I eat what I eat and when I eat it um, and what it does like the benefits and all that good stuff so give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that and I will catch you in the next one